One of the things you'll quickly find out when you're coaching flag football defense is that it can be difficult to play any other coverage than man coverage. And uh, the reasons are uh, multiple. Uh, first and foremost, if you're coaching younger players, it's just simpler to, you know, every person covers somebody. And uh, that way you don't have to worry as much about somebody running free. But even at the older adult levels, and, and we've got our 4v4 package up here on defense, uh, it can be difficult just because you've got to play zone. You've got really almost the same size field, but you've got fewer players. And, and one of the players you would think would be rushing the quarterback. So you're left with three defenders to defend all that field in a zone type of way. So uh, a couple things. One is that uh, we believe you do have to have some type of zone defense. And we'll show you here in a second. And the second thing is that all zone coverage, even at the NFL level or whatever level, turns to man coverage at some point. At some point, somebody's going to enter your zone and you've got to cover them. And so it's a special kind of way that you can play your zone. So now you're looking uh, right here at a 4v4 uh, defense and man coverage. And so, you know, you can see the formations. I, I may open one of them up here in a second. But you've got a 2 by 2 situation right here. And the important thing is to line up across the board. You're playing man. You want to get the depth uh, that you need to get uh, based on your matchup right here. And then you want to try to hide whoever's going to be coming after the quarterback. And that way your center, who doesn't have a back in this situation to help, can't uh, prejudge which way they're going to set uh, and, and try to get protection for the quarterback. And so, But as you see, just different ways right here of playing center bunch. There's only so many ways you can line up on offense as well. I mean, you can have a receiver. If you want to have a back, you will have a receiver probably out to one side. Or you can line up in what we're calling like a trips or a, uh, you know, a, a, a strong set right here where both receivers are on one side. So how do you play zone coverage with it? All right, so really there's only two different ways that you can play it. You can play what we call a 1-1-2 one, one, in this situation right here. And that's where you're essentially saying that you're going to play a two-deep structure. Um now, what does that two-deep structure look like? First, what you're going to do is, once again, hide who's going to rush the quarterback. One linebacker, as we've got it labeled here, is going to rush the quarterback. The other one will drop out and will play the mid-hook and really playing everything underneath. But your two deep players, your defensive backs, you're going to play shallow to deep. In other words, if you're over here and you get a hitch, then you're not going to be sitting back here on you know half – field and, and have all that green grass to break up on. So as the field gets stretched, our DBs right here are going to stretch it in a half field way. So it really becomes more of a man coverage situation as the play progresses. But uh, as a structure, it is a one player rushing, one underneath, and two deep if you get it. And so um, we've got that set out there for the formations. And then the other way that you can get it would be to have a, a three deep kind of deal. And we just call it a, a one, uh, really a one, two, one. And the reason we call it a one, two, one instead of a one, three, once again, these people out here that you're going to call your uh, DBs or linebackers are going to play shallow all right, to deep. But at the end of the day, if everybody were to go deep, you'd end up with three deep defenders as opposed to over here where you'd end up with two deep and maybe somebody carrying that mid-hook player carrying somebody late. So just some ways that you can mix it up. And I'll finish by saying this, that yes, the, the zone coverages that we're talking about here uh, involve a little bit more complexity, particularly if you're playing uh, you know, in an adult league or something like that uh, but understand that if you get in the wrong matchup in a game and let's just face it if your defensive back cannot match up against their best receiver and you play man coverage all day you're going to have some issues it's not going to be a good day for you so that's why it's good to come in and mix up a little bit allow these dbs to get off maybe give up the short throw break up pull the flag those type of things and that way it just gives you a better chance than getting eaten alive on go routes all day to a uh, receiver who you don't really have talent enough at your defensive back to cover.